Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make a Dresden template out of a piece of cardboard, a large template for doing the Daisy Dresden. Um, so as long as you have a small Dresden template, you'll be able to do this. So I just have a, a, an open cereal box here and I'm going to trim this one down to 18 inches. Actually, let's do 20 inches. So I have it on the 30 inch. I will go over to 10 here, 10 inches, and I'm just gonna trim this off. I have an old rotary cutter with an old blade in it that I keep for cutting like paper and cardboard. So, okay, so now I know that this is 20 inches. So I want to make a Dresden, a large Daisy Dresden template out of cardboard. So I am just gonna use my smaller template and I am just lining it up along the bottom. That's it. And then I'm just gonna use some painter's tape to help hold it down. Hold it down at the bottom. And then at the top. You'll also see me use my my hand weights here, um, but they don't quite fit on here. They're a little bit too big. Okay, so I got that held down. So now all I'm gonna do is this is one of the ways. This is if you just have um, the cardboard and scissors and a pencil. So you're just gonna line it up there and then you could take your pencil and then just draw a line. And then I'm gonna put this on here because I don't want that moving. Lift that up and then just continue with your line going all the way down, okay? And then I am laying this back down, putting it snug up against that again. Making sure this is still down here and taping that up there. and then going to this side and repeat that step. Okay, and then you'll see that there I got the template for it. So then if you just have scissors and you don't have a rotary cutter, then you would just cut this out with your scissors. So if you do have like an old rotary cutter or your new one and you're about ready to change the blade, here is a way of doing that. So. I'm just lining it back up to my pencil lines. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing that for this tutorial. So if you do have one, all you need to do is line that back up again. And I love using the weights just to make sure it doesn't slide. I still have the sticky things on them, but they still move around. So I'm just picking that up, putting that aside. and I'm cutting. Now, don't move anything yet. You wanna put this back down so that it's snug up against this long ruler. Reattach your tape and then move your long ruler to the other side. Put it snug up against there Hold that down, lift. And then cut this side. See, it still moved on me a little bit, but it's still fine.
That's what happens when you have an old blade. Things don't cut as well, but we can still make it work. There. Now you have a template for cutting your blades for the Daisy Dresden. So let me show you an example of how to cut the fabric with the template. So here I have some Christmas fabric. Normally I would iron it. Okay. So you can put this wherever you like. It may not be see-through, so it'd be kind of hard to fussy cut, but I think you could still get the idea. Like, you know, if you're like, I want this red flower more in the center. So you can make sure like, okay, I'm just gonna go up like that. And I know that red flower is gonna be in the center. Okay. And then if you want, you can use some tape to hold it down onto the fabric. I am actually cutting two layers of fabric. You could cut however many layers you're comfortable with cutting. And I'm gonna do it in two more spots and you'll see why here in just a moment. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my good blade. And so let me go back. So if you have scissors and a pencil, then you would just go along and draw your pencil line, or if you have the heat erasable marker, chalk, anything like that. So then you can just draw around here and then you'll be able to see it. You'd only be able to do it with the one side unless you pinned your fabrics and then you could just cut them out with your scissors. But with the rotary blade, and a long ruler. I have a long ruler, but if you have a short ruler, just start down here, scoot up, scoot up, scoot up. Okay, so what I'm doing is I am lining the edge of my ruler up with the edge of the cardboard. Okay, and then putting my weights down so it doesn't slide, and then I'm cutting. And now you can see why I taped all four sides. So I'm lining it up on my long side over here and I am making sure that the ruler goes past the cardboard. So I am not cutting into the cardboard. I am cutting through the tape, but I'm totally cool with that. Okay. And then, now I will line it up at the top. And then down at the bottom. There you go. Here's my two pieces for the Daisy Dresden. Now, you can totally, like say this was a different fabric, you can sew two pieces together like this. If you know, of course, if it was different fabric. Let me grab a blade I cut. from earlier, it's two totally different fabrics. They don't go together, but you get the idea. So if you had several Christmas fabrics, so you could do this and then you would just sew, you'd put right sides together, sew up here, open it, and then just keep going around. That's gonna give you this curved type of edge here, especially after you put the binding on. Now for the Daisy Dresden, you'll see in one of my other videos, before you get to this step, you fold the Dresden blade like, you uh, fold the Dresden blade like this. 
you fold it in half and then you sew a quarter of an inch across the top. When you do that and you invert it, that's where you'll get the point. But I have another video that shows you how to make that, but that kind of gives you the idea of how to get that point. So there you are. That's how you can make a Dresden ruler template out of a piece of cardboard. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone.